Okie doke, in this uh, video, we're gonna be looking at spark plugs and we're talking about how you can read spark plugs to tell uh, kind of what's going on with your engine. Now, this is out of a 2019 Kia Soul with a 1.6 uh, four-cylinder gamma GDI motor and the GDI stands for gas direct injected. Uh, just a little bit of history so you'll know what's going on with the car. Uh, I bought the car, wrecked on the front end. I got it already put back together and the motor is acting crazy. I've never had that happen with a car that I've bought. Everything that I drive and my wife drives, I've bought from my insurance companies totaled and I redo them. And uh, like I said, this is the first time I've had a mechanical issue and I can't really figure out what's going on. But in this video, we're gonna talk solely about how to read spark plugs so you can kind of get an idea about the history of your motor and what's going on with it. You can always run a code checker and get an idea about what cylinder might be misfiring and whatnot. But to get an idea about what might be going on in the future with your motor uh, or in the past, especially, we can look at the uh, spark plug. So let's get these pulled out and uh, get them lined up. Uh, cylinder one, two, three, and four. I've already pulled the uh, uh, coils off each one of them and ready to take those plugs out. So I'll get those plugged out, plugged out. I'll get those plugs pulled out and we'll get a look at them. Okie doke, I got these uh, spark plugs pulled out. I thought I was gonna have a problem trying to find uh, as many examples as I could, but uh, this poor little motor had four spark plugs with four distinct examples of what I was trying to uh, to show you guys. Uh, this first one here, we're gonna look at it, see if I can get it to come in focus. That's pretty well just a used spark plug, just, just showing a, uh, a lot of miles on it. There's a little darkening around the top. Both diodes are still in, uh, I'll get it, to, there we go. Both diodes are still pretty well intact. So that's just a high mileage spark plug. So we'll set that one off to the side. Doing this on my little model train layout. Now this is off of uh, cylinder one. Uh, and it's got some, almost like some uh, mechanical problems like something might have been hitting it but I believe what this is is somebody's tried to clean this plug off and it's had uh, uh, some problems firing uh, it probably had some, some either corrosion up there or maybe just some uh, gunk on the end of it but you can tell this outer diode get it focused there again there you go this outer diode is, is misshaped, and uh, so either somebody's been trying to work with that. But anyway, that is a bad spark plug. Now the next up, if you'll see a spark plug, and this is out of the same engine, mind you. If you'll see a spark plug like this, that's just the end of it's gunked up, it's burnt looking. Uh, this had probably had some more stuff on the end of it than... Uh, what's showing there, uh, get this where this light is. This is caused by liquid oil getting into the cylinder. Uh, either, there, well, there's a number of different reasons. If you had bad piston rings uh, where the oil is seeping by that, or if you uh, accidentally overfill the car uh, with oil and uh, it's working its way back down into the cylinder. That's what causes that is liquid oil. Now the next up uh, is this plug here. Now if you look, if I can, there we go. Can't really see it on this side, but on this side, see all that corrosion and, and kind of a, it's kind of a sandy feeling uh, corrosion on the top of this uh, diode there. That's caused by ionized uh, oil. In other words, the 
pressurized mist of oil coming into the cylinder and being burnt along with the fuel. Uh, and that's caused by uh, oil coming in uh, from a bad seal around your valves. Uh, so it won't be long, you're gonna have to do something about that. It'll run for a long time. You just have a little bit of smoke, uh, you know, with your car, but that is not a good sign. Now, if you have a, let's look at one of these other plugs. If you have a spark plug that you pull out that is super duper clean, I mean, the, this uh, insulator on the bottom of this diode is really, really bright white. Uh, this diode up here is really, really clean. You, you have no debris or staining on it at all. That is a bad sign because that usually means that you're getting coolant into the cylinder. And what happens is that coolant uh, gets hot enough to create steam. And basically every time that piston comes up, it's steam cleaning uh, that spark plug. So you definitely don't want that to happen. Okay, now we'll talk a little bit about plug types. Uh, there's three plug types. There's uh, copper plugs, platinum plugs, and iridium plugs. Uh, copper plugs by far have the best conductivity. You'll get the best spark from a copper plug, uh, but the lifespan's not very long on a copper plug. Now the uh, platinum and the iridium plugs, they cost more. Uh, they have a greater durability, uh, they're gonna last longer. And uh, most manufacturers are gonna call for the platinum or the iridium. Uh, Kia and uh, Hyundai, which is basically the same vehicle with the GDI motors, uh, the 1.6 in particular call for the iridium uh, plugs. And when I say cost more, you can still pick up a, a, a set of plugs. I've seen on Amazon, the genuine OEM uh, Kia plugs for a set of four for uh, 24, 25 bucks. But you can get on up into, you know, paying crazy amounts for these plugs that are supposed to be this, that, and the other. A lot of people want to use the uh, NGK uh, laser iridium plugs with the uh, GDI motors, which is, you can use those, those are fine. But those are usually going to run between uh, 12 and $15 per plug. But uh, the best thing to do if you're just a, a normal runabout vehicle is use your owner's manual to find out which plug best suits you. So, okay, if you guys have any questions, post them below and I'll try to help you out what I can. And uh, we'll see you on the next video.